Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Um, this is a vlog. And I supposed to been um started a blog to see how everything goes on my channel, you know. Um that's how oh the vlog is supposed to get started. I'm not feeling good today, okay? Really feeling bad. The Georgia environment, okay, has really screwed me up, has really um, done a number. Girl. hair growing back. Thank God for that because, child, it has been a journey. Um, I got braids again because I just I'm back working at Macy's. Shit. That's that's the moral of the story. I'm back working at Macy's. Um, I would have normally not been sick because I normally, like, I'm always inside and, you know, um, at my job, I eat outside. Um, oh my God, I'm sorry, y'all. It's so bad. I don't know what that is. It's worrying me. Okay. <laughs> but, so, yeah. The last time I was working at Macy's, I kept braids in my hair, okay? Because I just didn't feel like doing my hair all the time. I should just wash my face and just, yeah, I just woke up, man, and <sighs> so embarrassed about this, but I have to do what I'm led to do, <laughs> okay? I felt uh, urgency to do um, a vlog or just to get on camera because, um, honestly, if I don't make money today, um... How am I going to take care of anything? So I have to make this day count as something, you know, if I don't go to work, you know. Um, and what I hate about working in retail is when you sick, for me, when I'm sick, I really feel low. Like, I feel bad. I already have... um as they say, an accent. And that accent doesn't sound good. I'm pretty sure if I'm sick, everybody knows I'm sick. Last night, everybody knew I was sick. I mean, this guy, um, I sneezed, and he was like more than 15 feet away. And he does this, and I'm like, don't do that. Like, really? He's like, I do that to everybody. I was so, I was like embarrassed and kind of like, you know, I felt so bad. I was so pissed about that. Because I was like, why did you bring your ass to work? And it's like, you have, I have to work. You know, I have to be responsible at a time in my life. You know, I can't quit every job, but I don't quit just to quit. They have to do something to make me quit. And and when people do does, I don't give a damn how, where, how, when we are. You do some shit I don't respect, I'm out. I'm kicking it because I can't. Hey, I can't. I can't. I can't. However, I love my job, you know. Um... Because I'm willing to show up if I'm sick. But on this day, I said, hell no. Mm -mm. I can't. Forgive me. Wait, hold up. Block. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> okay, sorry, guys. I, yeah, I just like, for real, I said to, said to say to myself, girl, know your your limits yeah it's 
I mean, I'm just out here with these allergies that I didn't even freaking know I had. I didn't have, I'm, I've never experienced allergies in um, Louisiana. If I did, it didn't last this long. Um, but it's all right. Um, I'm going to just be positive about this day. Um, even though I don't feel positive, I have to be positive. Okay, and I have to put out content somehow. Um, I hope you guys like these videos. Um, I hope it benefits your life somehow, somewhere. Um, but I want to say, I wanted to make this video, um, to say never stop pushing never stop pushing no matter what the world throw at you don't give up on you don't give up on what you believe that god has for you because if you know he has something for you you're right <laughs> Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay. You're right. He has something. He has something for you. It is something for everybody in this world. Whatever you want to be, whatever you want to achieve, it's something for everybody. For me, I did something that I didn't know I would do. And I started my own company, Madam Dion Cosmetics, which is a fully skincare, um, plant-based line. Everything I have is plant-based, including the foundation, um, lipstick that's coming, um, lip liners, um, foundation that is coming. Um, and I'm believing it to come. It's been so hard. I've I've worked on this brand for over four years now and I've done well um supporting myself um and friends and family patronizing and helping me um with my dreams you know and I'm just so you know grateful that I came out with something that's meaningful to me and I feel that it's worth it to be on the market. So, you know, um, I will be um, showcasing that and sharing with you guys when I get my foundation, eyeshadow palettes, all that in. Um, but I also want to have... Um, a release party and I'm thinking hard about it it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of money um and honestly it takes a lot of money to do the things that I want done um I don't really work on a budget I work for I work I I like to have what I want and I like to do it right if it's not right i don't want to do it um i'm not easy to discourage but i'm easily discouraged that makes sense you probably say it doesn't but it makes sense perfectly sense in my head you know i don't know why this feels like an argument with me and my brother my uh youngest brother floored it feels like an argument we're gonna have how you say that and then say that because that's the way i feel but yeah so um guys don't give up on your but let me tell you i had a i got a cosmetic line and you can take cosmetics in anywhere hair or whatever but i just knew that my company would start off with hair products 
however my company is started off with skincare with the turmeric bar that you can cleanse your face with that helps even out the skin tones yeah then this is a a really like sick face you know not feeling well but surely as i tell you the skin is really nice however it's very dry right now because not really but for the more support it's dry because i've been blowing my nose all night i've been up eyes watering and yeah and it's like i wanted to get on camera but i just couldn't put on any makeup because you know i'm just not i'm not there My life has really um, changed. Um, as you see, I've moved into another apartment, another apartment, okay? Because um, it's just not easy with a home. Or you just need good credit, you know? And that, is being worked on as we speak um because you have to have credit but credit is okay you know but the thing about credit is you have to keep it good pay your bills on time um yeah and it's not really easy being um it's not easy paying bills on time when you're not working and you're working for yourself unless you're taking out loans and i don't do that i don't do loans or nothing like that i i, I don't have nothing against it it's just that i'm bad when it come down to remembering to pay bills you know i i believe that we can have a conversation i can tell you what's up and you can help me you know but yeah, um, paying bills are not my best thing. I'm I'm really careful with um what I do. Like if it was up to me, I would have a cash phone, like a trash phone or something like that, <laughs> because I don't really care about all that other stuff. And if I didn't make YouTube videos, which I own an iPhone now, so I can actually go buy me a trash one of track phones. Did I say a trash phone? I watch a lot of TV, so when I say things like that and it sounds like that, it comes from TV. Maybe when I was younger, I, I really invested time into watching television. But, yeah, um, with that being said, um, yeah, girl. Um, I just feel like shit. <laughs> Oof. But, yes. So, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have none of that. Um, Wi-Fi is all I need. Because I do, I just feel good when I make YouTube videos. It would be nice if YouTube videos could pay my rent. All the time. That would be a blessing. Um, and, it, you know, it would be great if YouTube videos could pay my car note. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that would be a blessing. No lie. And, but the thing about YouTube videos, they ain't freaking easy to make. Um, it's not really easy to put out content, especially on, you know, because you, when you feel like doing it, when you, when you feel like doing it, you don't know what to do. And when you, when you don't know what to do, uh, you, you just put something out there and those videos go viral. Like this video, no, not without a shot of a doubt, I know it's going to hit over a million views because, I mean, here I go sitting here 
in my um PJs and in in my um my um house jacket, house coat and um putting y'all up on game. And if y'all like to hear me talk, so I know it's going to go viral. I know people are going to share this video because y'all like to see me look like this. You know, an end time person get on something looking like, you know, they, you know, end up going viral. That ain't why I'm doing this. I am doing this just to really talk to my people who've been following me and love me and really respect my craft and you know, I ain't doing this for none of that. But one thing about, you know, Ty, I'm always ready to put on a show. You know, I'm always ready to uh, make money. Especially if it's going to be beneficial to me. And it's going to help somebody else. You know, but my thing is, I need to know when it's time to just relax, you know, um, but I can't relax because I have a 17 year old daughter that's about to get ready for college and, um, both my parents still here and I'm so grateful for that. And I, I just want to give them the best life ever because they've done it for me. I want to provide and give them the best life on earth. You know, um, I want to help my family. You know, I want to provide for my family from my, my child to my, um, siblings to, to their children. Um, I want to provide. That's what it's always been about with me. I want to provide. And I want it in the most honest way. I want it in what I love to do so I don't get tired of it. Me, I'm a person... I have to like the job because if I don't like it, I won't do it well and I won't be the easiest to get on. I have to like it. And that's with anybody. I know it because I'm not a weird individual. I am a not, I am not a weird individual. Okay. I'm really trying to work on my, um, I'm, I don't give a fuck by my accent, okay? I don't care about that, but I understand that I read very well and, and I see words. When I read, I, is much more of me reading, which is something I don't like, but I, I like to read things that interest me, so... When I say a word and it doesn't come out the way it's spelt, I try to go back and see that word in my head and try to say it again so you can get it. You know, I don't care about the accent. That's me. That's who I am. I'm, that's me. This is my culture. I'm Creole. I have Creole in my blood. You know what I'm saying? I'm a thoroughbred, you know? So, thoroughbred. Thoroughbred. Mm. But um Dow, that's that. Um I just I just want to I I love the reason why you know I love um beauty so much majority of my life I seen my I had my mom, my dad, and I didn't go out much. Okay, so because I'm in this field, it has a lot to do with my parents, you know, and the things that they had me to do as a young age, like my mom and the things I've seen at a young age. 
My mom didn't know how to do hair, so we stayed in the salon, or my daddy had to do our hair. <coughs> Excuse me. My aunt did my hair. My daddy did my hair. My grandmother did my hair. Because my mom couldn't do it. She tried it, She, but hey, that thing, she didn't enjoy it. She didn't enjoy it. Sometimes she'll do it. It didn't look bad. You know, besides, you know, like the braid going this way and that way. But, you know, I just go outside and show and go to my auntie Kay and be like, she'd be like, come on, baby, let me fix it, you know. And I'll be glad to see my grandma on the next morning. God have mercy. But um, she didn't really know how to do it. I, you know, she did the best she can. She could hydrate it. She can moisturize it. She knew how to condition it and stuff. But for the most part, my dad went to beauty school. And I watched him do my mom hair. I enjoyed it. And that I hold on to that. Um, and then I enjoyed going to different people to do my hair and seeing how good they are and how they made me feel. My favorite part in the salon was when I was getting my hair shampooed. I love to get... Um, I like for... <coughs> Sorry. I like to shampoo my hair. Um, I love when they were nice to me. And it's like you trust your beautician. And you can talk to them. You're supposed to. And that's when you know you have a wonderful experience. I enjoyed that experience. And I didn't want to do anything else. Like I wanted to always be around a salon. I always wanted to be around beauty products. I always, I just, I, I just love it. I, 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 I'm obsessed. Okay. Like I said, I'm obsessed. Okay. I'm, I'm like very gay when it come down to beauty. I don't know why I say this. <laughs> I guess because so many people have always called me gay. <laughs> And now I'm just like, I don't, I'm just so gay in beauty <laughs> because I'm, I, the reason why I say that, let me tell you why, because it, it's not, it's nothing in beauty that I don't know. And I'm, I won't learn. I I'm, I'm like a rainbow in beauty. Y'all, you will catch it one day. If you ain't got it, take it the way you want. I'm like a rainbow in beauty, baby. I ain't lying. I I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I'm 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 filled with the Holy Spirit. I love Father God and beauty. He got me where I'm like um I just like everything about it. Even when it come down to putting makeup on a man. If he wants something like that, I like, someone told me, um, one of my friend guys told me, he said, his name's Anthony. He said to me at work, you know, because I, if you think about it, I am, I've been in church a lot of my life. I even preached at a time. I even, you know, I even got ordained to be a pastor and I wasn't, but the man Pastor Nick said that God told him to do that. I didn't desire to be a pastor, a preacher. That wasn't my style. That wasn't my thing. I love God, but I just felt like I, I could understand people from a different perspective where I understand why they do the things they do. And one thing Bishop Brandon said that made a lot of sense, regardless of any of his flaws and what he's done at Praise Temple, he said, "You cannot, you cannot, um, you can't tell any, you can't tame the fish unless you catch the fish. You got to catch them first to be able to tell them, teach them, you know." I guess they were trying to help me because they thought I was a lesbian. I colored my hair so many different colors. And um, it's fine with me now, but then it pissed me off because I got that a lot. And it really bothered me. 
You know, because I'm like, man, I don't have no damn desire of ever being with a fucking bitch. I don't even like a hoe to touch me. It pissed me off. I don't even like hugs from a fucking woman. And with all due respect, I ain't got no problems with none of that. None of that. It just ain't for me. But, um, yeah, so when I, you know, people used to try to make it, me feel bad. You know, um, because I all my friends was gay. I was hanging around male gay. In beauty school, it was just a great experience. You know what I'm saying? Because men can really fucking do some makeup. Some, 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 not all. And, but I know for a show, the mother can do some hair. If the makeup, get the makeup. But they can do some hair. They can do some hair. So, um that's life but um i love i love gay people especially gay men i love gay men because when and when i see beauty um most of the time it's always a gay man doing it you know what i'm saying and i i just love them i love them because they're free and they're doing what they want in beauty I am free. I'm doing what I want. Beauty is my everyday life. I'm free. I'm free. That's why I say I'm like a gay um, person. I'm like a gay in beauty. So, because I'm free. I'm doing it. But I'm free. I'm like a gay in real life. I'm a gay every day because, baby, I'm happy and I'm free. And I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. You know, uh, I don't give a, nobody misunderstand me anymore. You know, I've been misunderstood all my life because everybody want to throw homosexuality on me because I was different and I was special. And I'm, I'm very special and I can see why I want me to be gay because I'm pretty. But baby, hell no. Hell no. That ain't, your mama ain't raised that. That ain't raised, I ain't that. I just like what I like. I love... Uh, but back to Anthony, Anthony, and I, I don't, and let me tell you something for Christian people who feel some type of way about me loving gay people. I don't give up. Okay. Uh, you can't judge a man, but let me tell you something. And, and I say that because I have a lot of gay friends that are male and they have issues with people coming at them. So I hate when you do that. Leave people alone. Stop judging people. But Anthony, I've learned a lot of, from them. And I love them. No fucking lie. And I will fight with them. Because at the end of the day, they don't mean me no harm. But anyway, my friend Anthony was like telling me like, uh, that's why, I, okay. I just get mad when I see them like hurt and people be trying to fight them or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I hate a fucking bully. But yeah, this is a vlog. But anyway, um, Anthony was like, girl, that's a mighty talent to turn a man into a woman. And I thought about it. I said, you ain't lying. But you know, a lot of people don't look at it that way. Um, and until like anytime I'm in makeup, I don't give up about how anybody feel. I just do what they want and what I feel. So one day you'll get why I say I'm like a gay in the, in make in the beauty world. I just I don't give a f you know um you know and I'm always willing to learn new things you know. But yeah, um, if you guys like these videos, let me know. Um, I bring it back to you. And yeah. Um. You have to stop judging people. Um, until you actually read the book, 
You can't just read the title and judge it. You have to read the book. You know, some people get the wrong idea about you because they think they prophets. But there's really not a prophecy. They're really, like, trying to seduce you in the spirit. You got to be careful of people of uh, seduction. That's why I don't, I don't go to church anymore. Because I just believe that how you going to speak that spiritual word and tell people what not to be? And you are. You are that. You know, I rather listen to it at home because I'm just, I've always been an honest person with myself. You know, uh, the re I colored my hair a lot because I was teaching myself. I went to beauty school. I knew so much about hair. <coughs> I was teaching myself to be better. You know, and, and the devil tried to sink his way in, sink his teeth in me, you know, and it didn't work. It didn't work, but it didn't turn me away from God, but it turned me away from going into church. Um, and I start realizing that when people put that prediction on you like that, it's not because you know, you're gay. It's because they're gay. They're gay and they want you to be gay. They're curious about you. And it took me to move to Georgia to realize that because, you know, this is a gay state. Real talk. And I'm happy I came here because it taught me to love everybody. You can't be, you can't separate yourself from anyone. If you want to be with a, be with a, if you want to be with a, be with a, that's you. That's you. But don't force nobody else to do it. Um, everybody got their own mind. That's the way it is. And I just, I just, I just like a lot of gay company. I like gay men. I love gay men company. I do. I, I, I love me a fucking gay man. You know, I just love them as friends because I trust them very easily. You know what I'm saying? Because, and let me tell you why I trust a gay man. My mama always told me they was the best ones to trust. And the one thing, you don't fuck them over because they they'll eat you up alive. Um, yeah. And that's kind of what I would do to you. That's how we get along, cause we 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 comfortable with ourselves, and we just we just straight up honest. You know that's why me and my best friend Halisha, like the only girl apart, I will ever be friends, best friends like that. Halisha, the only outsider friend I'm ever best friends like that. Halisha, cause she's straight, she's she's straight up and real, cutthroat, real. I like for folk to be real. I don't like people to be fake. I like for you to tell me. You ain't you ain't got to tell me the truth to hurt me, but you can be honest with me and let me know. Hey, friend. That ain't, I, ain't, I don't think you did that right. You know. Or at least have the goods to see it. You know what I'm saying? I like real people around me that's comfortable. And and when and when you comfortable with yourself, and when you comfortable being around me, being you, you can be my friend. Cause you know why? Cause you I ain't gotta worry about you. Cause you letting it all hang out. You let me know who you are, you let me know what it is. I ain't gotta I ain't I ain't gotta shoot cope, nothing. I ain't gotta figure out nothing you gonna tell me. And that those those thoroughbreds are very rare. So, eh, say what you want to say about me. I I lost a lot of friends because I like being around gay men. I don't give because them be the ones that help me. Them be the ones that buy my products. I love them. I love them. I love them. It was they tried to install in me to hate them, but I can't. I can't. I can't. I love me a gay man. I love gay man. I can't. It's in me. I. I just my. Then my. 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 my 
Ah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I just had to tell y'all that too. I mean, yeah. And that happened. I really, really figured this out when I worked started working at Lennox. Yeah, had really figured that out. You know what I'm saying? Cause they my friends. They help me. You know, they tell me the truth. You know what I'm saying? I ain't lying. Man, I trust a gay man quicker than I trust a woman, apart from Halisha and my mama and my daughter. Trust a gay man and my daddy. But my daddy's crazy. I don't know. He can't come in here. Um, yeah, but anyway. Um, with that being said, I see y'all in another video. Um, yeah. I trust a gay man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm fine with it because it's just cool. Um, I don't know why we started talking about this, but I ain't mad about it. Um, I'll see y'all in my next video. I hope you guys like this vlog. Please comment down below your thoughts, whatever it could be. Uh, I hope it's positive because it's all I care about here and, you know. Maybe this was something somebody needed to hear. Be free. Set yourself free. Be free. <laughs>